and boom done. You guys ready for a taste? I can't hear you. It's a little loud in here. You're teasing me. Stop Is it? <laughs> are, you, are you guys ready for a taste? <laughs> Hello and welcome to The Views Kitchen. Happy Taco Tuesday, amigos. Today, we're gonna to be making Tex-Mex chicken fajitas. I'm also gonna be showing you how to make a quick, delicious seasoned rice. And a shout out to all my Texans out there. I miss you and we'll see you soon. Now, let's go over the ingredients. For our seasoning, you're gonna need soy sauce, apple cider vinegar, oil, chicken bouillon, chili powder, onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, cumin, and black pepper. Pick your favorite mixing bowl and add all your liquid ingredients. Start mixing and we're just gonna pour the rest of our seasoning right on in. Woo! We're ready for a, a nice party. Once you've mixed all your ingredients, it's time to let your chicken come and have some fun. Once you've coated your chicken in our delicious marinade, you're gonna pick your favorite container or your plastic bag and you're gonna refrigerate it overnight minimum. I have used this recipe and done it for one hour to marinate. It's really good, but for our best use, at least overnight, it's gonna taste a lot better and you're gonna be more familiar with those flavors, okay? So I already have a pre-marinated uh, bag of chicken because I don't mess around with chicken. It tends to be in a bag most of the time. Because uh, you premeditated dinner? <laughs> yeah. Premeditated, pre-marinated. I did premeditated, -mar pre pre-marinated dinner, yes. Now, once you're all set like this, you're gonna be ready to go. You're gonna need some sliced bell peppers. Pick your favorite colors. This is a time to make it fun for your family. And you can even sneak a little bit of a zucchini in here if you're interested. Yellow or white onions, thinly sliced purple onion, and jalapeño and garlic for our spice lovers. You're gonna need your favorite tortillas. Today we're gonna be using these delicious thick corn tortillas from Mi Rancho. They are amazing. If you guys see these in the stores, give them a try. We highly recommend them. I'm gonna need a little pico de gallo for our beans and to top it off over whatever I feel like, <laughs> right? Making it comfortable for my home and my belly. So just squeeze a little bit of lemon, lime juice, Salt, give it a quick mix. And boom, done. For our seasoned rice, we're gonna need some water, rice, Mexican oregano, cumin, lemon pepper seasoning, and some chicken bouillon. Write my name with that button. <laughs> Do whatever I'm walking out on. Okay, all right. <laughs> cloud. Not clout. Not clout. Not but cloud. cloud. Not cloud. But cloud. cloud. Like a cloud in the sky, friends. And once your cloud has melted in here, <laughs> you want to add your rice. Once you've coated your rice with your oil butter mixture, we're just gonna keep stirring it every so often until we brown our rice. After about three to four minutes, you're gonna start seeing that your rice is browning. You don't wanna burn it, okay? That's when you wanna add your cumin. We wanna cook our cumin a little bit. We want those nice scents, that deliciousness to start waking up.
After about 20 seconds that you've stirred your cumin, ooh, this water's excited to go in there. We're gonna add our water. Stir, 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 and let me hear you say ale. Ale. <laughs> okay. Once your pan is calm, you're gonna add your chicken bouillon. Those are some raging waters. What do you mean when it's calm? <laughs> <laughs> it is your lemon pepper seasoning. We're gonna add our oregano. We're gonna sprinkle some of our purple onion. Onion haters, skip that and a little bit of cilantro. If you love parsley, you can use parsley for this one. The flavors will work just as good. Now we're gonna place a lid on our rice and continue by cooking our fajitas. Set your burner on a medium high heat. Drizzle some oil and we're gonna allow this to smoke up. And right when it smokes, we're gonna add our chicken, okay? Don't go walk away and then allow it to smoke up. Be right here, ready for it. My pan just started smoking. Be careful, friends. It's about to get wild in here. This chicken breast over here is nice, juicy, and ready to come out. Now this lobster looking piece of breast still has a little bit to go, so I'm just gonna put it to the side and I'm gonna continue to cook the remaining uh, chicken breast that we have. Ooh, that's juicy. And what I like to do to keep my chicken nice and warm is I like to cover it with foil and allow it to set there 10 to 15 minutes before I begin to slice. Our fajita chicken is ready. That should take you about 12 to 14 minutes, okay? Now let's get started on our veggies. Friends, it's time to walk it out. I like using the wok for my veggies. I've added a little bit of oil. I have it at a medium high heat. I'm gonna cook our onions for about three to four minutes. Sprinkle a little bit of salt. Oh, wow. Switch it to a medium heat and place the lid on it. You guys wanna see this rice? Yes? That's nice and fluffy. Ready? Mm -hmm. Nice, deliciously seasoned, fluffy rice. Now, back to our veggies. After three to four minutes, you're gonna see that your onions are nice and soft, okay? If you like them a little bit more cooked, you can continue to cook them a little bit longer, but for us, we like that nice, soft bite. 
Now it's time to add the rest of our bell peppers. Set your burner to a medium high heat at this moment, just so that we can cook our bell peppers quickly and they don't get soggy, okay? I'm gonna place the lid on them and I'm gonna cook them for about a minute, minute and a half max. After a minute and a half, you're gonna add your purple onions. And I slice these very, very thin, friends. Remember to slice them as thin as you can. I'm gonna add a little bit of butter and we're just gonna to toss it up. For those of you that love cilantro, sprinkle it in. Did you see that? Do my peppers just have a heartbeat? Woo! They like cilantro! Somebody wanted that piece that fell, and our peppers are set. They have a good bite to them. They're nice and cooked. Now let's let's place them in our plate. <laughs> Friends, we're not quite done yet. We need to make something for our spice lovers. A little bit of oil. Allow your butter to melt. Bebe, are you excited for some paquitas? See? How many are you gonna eat, Bebe? How many tacos? Three? He has that look on his face. I think he might go for four, guys. <laughs> he can handle it. Once your butter melts, you wanna move quickly. Add your garlic and your jalapeno, your serrano, your favorite spice. And we're just gonna allow them to cook for about 30, 45 seconds because our pan is still really, really hot and that's how we want it. We don't wanna overcook them, we want them to have a bite, but to get that, that spice flowing, okay? After about 20, 30 seconds, you're gonna sprinkle some salt. And by salt, I suggest you use a good amount. Mix it up and boom, done, friends. Now we're ready to slice our chicken. All right. Keep slicing, friends, keep slicing. I have two takers here for a taste test cloud. Bebe, here you go. Our lucky day, bebe. What do you think, baby? Yeah, <laughs> He's hungry from doing all that workbook. Yes, he did a really good job on that workbook. All right, friends, let's assemble these tacos. And boom, done. You guys ready for a taste? I can't hear you. It's a little loud in here. You're teasing me. Stop Is it? it? <laughs> are, you, are you guys ready for a taste? <laughs> you did this to me. I did this to you. You did it to me. As always, Views Club and Bell Notification Squad, Claude and I are wishing you the best. We absolutely adore you. We want to give a special thank you to all of you working behind that register at our grocery stores and the rest of the stores. You guys are keeping us going during these difficult times and we appreciate you and we love you. And on that one, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, adios. Not to worry friends, the kids don't get left out with their little parrilla, their little skillet. So you can all have a Sunday fun day, Taco Tuesday. You can make it as fun as you want. Okay friends, we're gonna take a big bite out of this taco. These tortillas have me going crazy. You can make this with whatever tortillas you want. Flour, corn, flour, corn mixture. You know how you do it in Texas. H-E-B tortillas. Mm -hmm. You get Johnny Canales style, you bring all the heat. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, don't give me, I like those H-E-B flour tortillas, don't play. I do too. 
okay. Well, you know what I forgot? I forgot some salsa in my beans. I like salsa in my beans. Just a little bit. A little pico. A little pico. Yes, and it does get loaded in here. Okay, I see what you did there. What the duo? Mm -hmm. El duo dinamico. You ready for a big, big bite? We're ready. Okay, friends, it's time for a big bite. Say ah. Ah. Oh, baby, you want a big, big bite. Amigos, it gets dirty with my fajita eating, okay? I'll take a bite, I'll go right into the seasoned rice and my beans and it's just non-stop mukbang style. So, let's enjoy. Aprovecho, mija. This is so good. <laughs> we loved it. Oh my goodness. Everything just keeps getting better and better each bite. Okay, this seems like I was a about lot to do acting studio and just drop dead right now. No, no, don't do that because I okay. have a question. Okay, what's your question? Okay, it seems like a lot of food to make all at once. How can I cut my time? You can cut your time by pre uh, making your marinades and your beans. And you can freeze them. You can even make your rice and freeze it and then just thaw it out, warm it up. You can do the same with everything, but I definitely, when I make marinades, I usually make an extra one and keep it in the freezer. Even if I only have like two pieces of chicken left, I, I make sure to freeze something because even two pieces, I know how to, how to make it stretch. Okay, thank you. I'm plotting, I'm plotting. Mm. This is research for me. Mm. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> you haven't told me about what you're plotting here. This is so good. This is one of those meals that if you're in the doghouse, and you guys know what I mean, you can really set this up, do something nice, make it sizzle, and then bring the heat afterwards in a very nice way. Parents. Kids, cover your ears. <laughs> Children. Mmm. Girl, Guys, this is so good. You know we're gonna eat and run because we have a visita waiting for us. Mm -hmm. And although we had some samplings, he wants to enjoy the fajitas with his emo and his mommy. Mm -hmm. We love you guys. You wanna say bye, baby? Bye, adios. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet boy.